This may not look like your typical holiday destination, yet every year hundreds of tourists travel to the refugee camps of the Western Sahara. It's a whole, it's a whole new world. It's, it's, it opens your eyes. We came here. Now the surprising is overwhelming. Visitors from across the globe descend upon this remote southwestern corner of Algeria to participate in events ranging from marathons to film festivals. It's all part of a full calendar organized annually by charities in collaboration with the Polisario, the resistance movement turned government in exile. They actively encourage tourists to come and experience refugee culture. Ja, de warmste marathon mee te maken en daar aan vast zat dus uh, een, uh, ja, dat goede doel en uh, dat wisten we van tevoren niet. Once I found out about the marathon, then I started to find out more about the actual course that goes with it. Ik had geen verwachting waar ik zou komen. أكيد بأنه وجود جانب خاصة من أوروبا ومن دول أخرى هذا مهم جدا بالنسبة للقضية الصحراوية لأنه يعتبر دعم دولي لأن القضية الصحراوية هي قضية عادلة وبالتالي مجيء المتضامنين هو دعم لهذه القضية هذا واحد الثاني أنه في هذه الوفود هناك عدة وسائل إعلام وصحف وجرائد هذه أكيد عنها لا يتخلق صدى وإحنا مشكل القضية الصحراوية هي مشكل إعلامي وعقب ذلك المساعدات كذلك اللي تجي مع هذه المنظمات وهذا الوفود الأجنبية كذلك الشعب الصحراوي في حاجة لها يغير مع هذا كامل The Saharawi people have been living as refugees for over 35 years when their attempted independence from Spain failed The Western Sahara became occupied by Morocco in 1975, when over 300,000 Moroccans marched from Tarfaya across the border in what is known as the Green March. A guerrilla war followed. The Saharawi people retained only a fraction of their land under the governance of the Polisario, while the rest fell to Moroccan control. This is now Africa's sole remaining colony. The land is divided by a Moroccan-built fortified wall second in length to the Great Wall of China. This 1500 kilometer long wall is surrounded by one of the world's largest minefields, the Berm. Manned by more than 120,000 troops, it still costs Morocco a million dollars a day to sustain. Memories of the wall and the continuing Sahrawi struggle are ever present in refugees' day-to-day -day life. We are here in the country of the Sahara. We are here in the country of the Sahara. We are here in the country of the Sahara. We are here in the country of the Sahara. We are here in the country of the Sahara. We are here in the country ما الحال رحنا عندنا اسماء مزينين فينا وسمعنا اخبارهم كامل عنهم يذبحون وانطلقنا من ذيك من ذيك القريه من جري اسبوع عشاج في الدرا في جدر وارك زيد 
ورد البرات من هاد يقول البرات نجرو تريك وحميرات وزويل وشي ما عندنا شمس وحفايا دواونا عن كل شيء عن حيواننا كامل دواونا عن وخلطونا المدافع في الليل بناوا عليهم المدافع وخلطونا بهم طايرت الناس من ذاك البلد ناس قاعد طلق ما طلق اللي عليه كرعية عندي شي غير الكرع منين خلطت الناس في الليل تفرزت قامت متفرزة قالت التركة اللي مات مات فهموا اللي مشى حي مشى حي أنا بعد من ذيك التفرزة فقدت علي أربع تركة فهم ذيك الليلة ما تريته عمارهم كم فيهم؟ مالك سمعت سلام أكبر من أكبر من أكبر من This family's experience is a common one. Thousands of Sahrawi fled across the border to Tindouf in Algeria, where over 200,000 of them now live in exile. They rely largely on the international community for survival. This is mostly provided by NGOs, but it's also supplemented by groups or individuals that choose to visit the camps. Tourists are given the refugee experience. They're hosted by local families and cooked homemade meals. They're treated to parades showcasing the Sahrawi culture and taken to the propaganda heavy resistance museums. But it's not the financial benefits that are foremost on many of the Sahrawi's minds. They are eager to raise awareness of life in the camps as well as the liberated and occupied zones. But they also want visitors to understand their political plight. Uh, all, most of the young generation, they want to go back to the war. Everyone, uh, we don't, you don't need to tell some people, we have to go back to the war. Everyone tell the other one that we have to go to, back to the war. And we don't care if we lose or if we win. But we just have to do a change. We have to finish this. For my own future, I, I would like to do, I would like to study, I would like to work, I would like to go out of this place and try to to do like a movement or something like that. But for the future of my cause, I really don't know. Um, he is the future of the future. In the future of the future, he is the future of the future. He is the future of the future. Yes. And the people of the future have the responsibility to build a country. على كل حال منين يخلق الاستقلال اللي هي تفتن الدولة ذريك قال له يستثمر في تكوينه في تكوين البشري بالأساس في التعليم في, في تكوين مقدرات الشباب من نجل عنهم يقدوا يحقوا الهدف اللي هو الاستقلال هم فهم يبدأ بناء المستقبل The Polisario's official line is to seek self-determination by peaceful means The youth, however, appear less patient Hamni became a Polisario member once he'd fled the occupiers' territories by crossing over the top of the berm and the surrounding minefield. He feels that war is the Sahrawi's only chance for independence. All the Sahrawi people, they want to go back to the war. Why? Because nothing in the Sahrawi conflict, it will be changed without the Sahrawi people go back to the war. So without war, nobody will listen to us, and without war, the United Nations can't do it anything. The Polisario, they say that now, we didn't need to go back to the war because we have a negotiation between us and Morocco. That, of course, the Polisario, someday they will go back to the war.
people like Hamdi feel that visitors to the camps play a key role in achieving their goals. It's good for us, the, all the people that are coming here to the visit the camps. Why? Because they will find the truth by their eyes. It's like a surreal experience here, being out in the desert. The mensen, the gastvrijheid, maar ook hoe ze hier moeten leven, overleven. And for all uh, summers, the, at 50 graden is here in uh, bijna een hel. Yeah, it changes. It change. You learn a lot. If when you are come to the refugee camps and you believe this uh, situation and you believe that to the Sahara we have the rights, you have your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, so far person. When you explain to them about their situation and these four they come here, they will bring with them another four. After that we will bring eight, 16, 32. One year we will bring with us one fly, one plane. Everyone will want, want to know here about my adventure and who knows it could lead on to other people coming out here in the future. I will definitely support the cause when I get home. I will uh, you know, be much more proactive. I'm going to have an exhibition about Western Sahara in Sweden and I'm going to spread the word and raise, try to raise awareness of the situation here. Yes. I plan to engage in the cause. I think that the uh, Sahrawi people are being very creative about uh, spreading the word about what their experience has been. So I hope to um, be able to participate in helping them do that. Uh, that here a heel groot probleem heerst en dat we het bekend moeten maken. Want in Nederland is het helemaal niet bekend. Absoluut niet. En dat zullen we proberen. Once I get home, I will I will look at ways that I can help. And obviously, I'll be back next year. The Sahrawi people feel that tourism will generate support for their fight when it comes. When we we'll back to the world, all the world, they will come to support Western Sahara. Why? Because we have a right. <laughs>